Indiana Avenue has a rich history. It was once a vibrant economic driver for the black community, but over the years, development along the avenue took away opportunities. WRTV's Meredith Hackler tells us how the city of Indianapolis is looking to right some of those wrongs that were created decades ago. This was Indiana Avenue in the early 1900s. It was home to businesses, jazz clubs, and theaters, all which helped the black community thrive, according to the state of Indiana's website. It was a neighborhood stolen to build a university. According to the Indiana Historical Society, the black community was pushed out. Since then, as we've reported, development along the avenue has been a contentious topic. Many longtime residents want to see developments made, but with reconciliation in mind. The history of, of the avenue is very important to us, but it's got to be done right. It's got to go all the way back. And it's got to highlight the, 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 the relationship with African Americans in the city of Indianapolis. And that's exactly what the city of Indianapolis is trying to do. This week, they began conversations with stakeholders on Indiana Avenue to hear from them about how they would like to see the area developed before any big decisions are made. Researchers show that the first step of reconciliation is acknowledging what has happened, right? And then understanding and coming to terms with a clear vision a unified vision, which is the process of what we're going through. Aaron Lester tells me he was invited by the Department of Metropolitan Development to take part in these conversations. He's a real estate investor hoping to take part in the development of Indiana Avenue. More equitable development is important, especially in a community that has been for lack of better terms, railroaded over over the years. He says the city needs to make sure that when development starts happening, African Americans need to be front and center. For there to be equitable development, I th think that we need to have black developers involved and the, they're the ones actually making the money. And that's what the city is aiming for. They hope to pay homage and reconcile the wrongs that were made in the past. In Indianapolis, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. The city says these conversations with stakeholders will take place over an eight week period. Then they will open them up to the general public. The goal is to know what kind of development people in the community want to see.